This is the classic The King of Antolia by Megan Whalen Turner. This is a very interesting uh, book. It's it's kind of like a series, except it's not. It's kind of these prequels. Um, it's interesting. It, it jumps back and forth between time to explain basically this, this era of, of Anatolia, which is a fantasy world, um, much like ours. This is what we think that this book was really all about. Eugenides was originally was known before as the Thief of Edis, but but now by a clever plot he manages to become the king of Anatolia. What started as a quest of romance becomes a battle of wit as the boy is thrown into test after test from the kingdom's troubles. Slowly, his new family starts to notice this boy is more than he is revealing. His wits, his smarts, and his cleverness attract a lot of attention, both good and bad. And will you uncover the truth for yourself of who he really is? The King of Atolia has many forms of prose attached to it. It's a thriller, though it's one that's hidden below a cunning plot. And the story is fast-paced and written with an intangible charm. A charm that makes readers think twice about the meaning of every single word that's written. Nothing is really what it seems in this adventure at first. And The King of Tolia is, is, is aired for older audiences. It's, it has a, sense, a stronger sense of humor and irony. And it's a great read for readers who enjoy war novels, thriller stories, or adventure tales. However, be warned. This is a little too deep for younger readers, and um, the action may, may pure action is what you want. This one is not all about action. It's a lot about clever planning, and deception, and a lot, a lot more. My grade for this is going to be an A. Please see our four of you on our website, and thank you for watching.